Draft day came and went, and we all, I think, had Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy, and C.D. Lamb as the consensus top three wide receivers in this class. Shocking to me, and I think it was shocking to a lot of others, is that uh, Henry Ruggs was actually the first one off the board. I actually had C.D. Lamb as my number one wide receiver in this class. Jerry Judy was number two, but wow, John Gruden went out and got his Tyreek Hill light in Henry Ruggs. I think he is going to get usage in this Raiders offense, and no, he's not the most complete receiver in this class, but he's going to stretch the field. And and last year in Oakland, it was underneath City with uh, Hunter Renfro and Darren (laughs) Waller. Those two guys combined for 188 targets. They were actually first and second on the team. So knowing the narrative around Derek Carr and that he only likes to check the ball down, he doesn't like to, to sling it deep. Um, Gruden is giving him no excuses this season bringing in Henry Ruggs. He has 427 40 yard dash speed. I I just don't know if I can trust him as a as a week in and week out wide receiver. Um, he he certainly will have big plays, and if you start him the weeks where he breaks a, a 60 yard touchdown, you're gonna be thrilled. But like you just said, rookie wide receivers historically aren't getting 10 targets a game. So I just don't know that the workload is going to be there consistently for Henry Ruggs. But, but I certainly think he's in wide receiver three flex territory um, in this Raiders offense. It, it is a crowded room as well. They brought in Nelson Aguilar. Tyrell Williams is going to be healthy. Waller is, to, Waller is still there. They got Hunter Renfro. Um, they also drafted Brian Edwards and Lynn Bowden in the third round of this same draft. So it's going to be loaded there. Henry Ruggs is obviously going to be involved because of the draft capital that was spent. Um, but but I'm not freaking out going, you know, insane, grabbing him early in drafts. I think the Raiders certainly are hoping he turns out to be more of a Tyreek Hill than a Darius Hayward Bay. <laughs> I think I'm more bullish on rugs than you are, but yeah, I, I'm with you, right? Like the, the low hanging fruit when we saw this move made and everybody came out there, we saw the headlines and all the narratives. Oh, Derek Carr's not a gunslinger. He's not gonna be able to hit this guy deep. But I think one thing that rugs will lead to him getting onto the field is his utility just as a field stretcher to open up more of that underneath uh, options. Uh, folks are going to try to stack the box up against Josh Jacobs. And if they do, I mean, that's going to leave Ruggs on an island one-on-one, which I think you take that any day of the week, regardless of his route running or how complete he is. Speed kills in the league. We all know that. Knowing that, hey, Ruggs is probably going to be on the field a decent amount, not to mention the investment at, at the 112 spot in the draft and the fact that the Raiders need a wide receiver one. I'm very excited for Henry Ruggs in this offense. Carr had a crazy completion rate. He was at like 70%, I know, through a big chunk of the season, which was number one in the league. We don't think of Carr as that deep threat uh, type of, or gunslinger type of quarterback in this death by a thousand cuts offense that Gruden runs. But over the past two seasons, Ruggs has caught 87% of the catchable passes thrown his way, only two drops. So I love his hands. You know, we look at some comps in this Gruden Raiders offense. We got Tyrell Williams last year at 15.5 yards per reception. We, we saw them try to fill this role with Martavis Bryant back in 2018. Yikes. And we saw Amari Cooper, you know, he was at 14.2 yards per reception under Jack Del Rio before Gruden came in. So I feel like this is a void that they've been trying to fill for a minute now. And I think they finally got their guy. And another way that I think rugs could really get used is kind of like we saw Debo Samuel, right? The end arounds, the jet sweeps, the RPOs. There were some other names that the Raiders could easily took there. Why not take a Jerry Judy as a pure, you know, you think of an alpha wide receiver one. They did not do that. And I think Ruggs is really, you know, Gruden saying, I want to get my guy here. The 18.7 yards per catch in his senior year of college was insane. I think it'd be crazy for us to say, hey, just copy and paste it over to the NFL. But you look at that Tyreek Hill comp. Listen to Tyree Kill's rookie season. I think this is right where Ruggs could actually be at. Of course, the quarterback play is not there, but uh, Hill was 61 for 83 uh, in terms of targets and receptions, 593 yards, six touchdowns, and 9.7 yards per reception. I think he helps the entire offense. I already talked about the Josh Jacobs uh, getting the box stacked against him and, and what that can do for Ruggs. But man, I, I'm excited. I do really like Ruggs a lot. Maybe I'm more bullish on him than most of the guys out there, uh, but I, I really do like the fit. I think it's something that the Raiders have been looking for for a long time, especially Gruden, you know, going out and getting A, B and all that. Yeah, absolutely. There, there certainly is an Antonio Brown size toll in this offense. Steph, what was that um, yards per catch number on Tyree Kill's rookie year? He was a 9.7, which he's blown by that every year since. Wow, that seems uh, so very low. That, 
Yeah, it was. It was. And after that, I believe he was somewhere around 13 to, to 15 every year wow. after. So it was something where we're going to see him grow into it, just like we mentioned at the beginning, right? These rookie wide receivers are going to slowly ease into the offense. Very rarely do we see a guy just get drafted and absolutely take over unless they're a top, top, top end talent like OBJ or Michael Thomas.